A former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Olisa Agwakoba, a senior advocate of Nigeria, has labelled the country's constitution as illegitimate and responsible for the country's disunity, poverty and other vices. He therefore tasked all presidential candidates in the forthcoming general elections to review their manifestos to include a drastic constitutional review targeted attending multi-dimensional poverty and challenges in Nigeria. According to him, the political economy of Nigeria was extremely fragile and incidentally, none of the presidential candidates in the 2023 election in their manifestos had attempted to link it altogether. Well, joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdulhamid. He's a legal practitioner. Thank you so much, Tunji, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good evening. It's interesting that... This is not the first time that we're hearing someone say, oh, the Constitution, that document is the core or the, the, you know, the basis for all of the problems that we're facing in this country. But I really, I'm, I'm curious to know why we continuously point to the Constitution. There has been several amendments. In fact, even most recently, we've had another adjustment and amendment to the Constitution. But here we are again with Lisa Bakoba saying that this document is the source of all our problems. Do you agree and why do you think so? Uh, I, I think uh, why I agree with him that uh, the foundation of our country is not uh, as, a, as, a, as a killer. I want to respect him to agree with him that it's our problem. It is not our problem as far as I'm concerned. I am one of those people who, are, who believe that constitution, our country the way it is today, is not the problem of this country. The, I, what I believe is the problem of this country is the in, in, in enforcement and the implementation of the constitution. The way I manage the constitution being enforced is our problem. It's not the constitution itself. And it will be unfortunate, it will be, it will be, it will be unfair to at this level categorize that constitution as illegitimate or the problem of our country. Because uh, I, even if it's uh, not, when I say, I say the foundation is as a killer, as a killer because uh, it was done by military. Uh, uh, regime, not uh, for people. Some people believe it was not our, our, our. The world we does not represent a, a true position of the thing. Yes, I agree with that. But just like you said earlier, so many amendments have been made on this constitution by people elected by us. So which means we have accepted the constitution as our constitution. In other words, as it is today, we have, we have, we have, we have accepted that this constitution is our, our benefited from it since 1999. We have been using it. So many government have been ent ent enthroned based on this constitution. So what many. Is, what, exactly, uh, Mr. What, what, uh, what exactly have we, the people, benefited from the constitution? I, 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 need, a I need us to be exact. You're, what you just said is that many governments, yes. So you're talking about leadership. Leadership mostly benefits from the constitution. How about the people? No, I, we, are, we, are, we have some. We have been relying on this constitution to run, to run, to run the country. The president, the girls who came to government, came into government based on this constitution. The electoral act was made based on this constitution. So, uh, Mr. Bakoba has gone to court separately to challenge certain positions based on the constitution. Relying on the constitution. The which is now saying it's, Ill, Ill, it's not legitimate today. That's what, that's what I'm saying. We have been using it. We have been relying on it. We have been making effort. We have been, we have been, we have been, we have been relying on the provision of the constitution to ascertain certain uh, rights and, 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 and obligations. Yet, we are saying it's, uh, it, it, it's illegitimate. If it's illegitimate, why are we relying on it? So in other words, what we are saying that in that that all the governments in 1999 that was appointed based on this constitution are not legitimate. That's what we are saying in that So as far as I'm concerned, the constitution is not our problem. And if you like, if you amend this constitution several several times, or even do a brand new constitution without ignoring or abandoning this uh, particular one, and do a new set of constitution completely, if we behave the way we are behaving, we will still be where we are today. So as far as I'm concerned. It is, not, it, is, it is not in the constitution that says we should not, we should, we should not, we should not, we should not we, the federal character is the constitution. Are we following it? No. The, the local government autonomy and the judicial autonomy is the constitution. Are we following it? No. There is a law in the constitution that says finances belonging to the executive uh, judiciary to be paid directly to them. Then we are not, that is not happening. There is, it is not the constitution that says people should be appointed from one particular set of the country. It is not the constitution that says you must be unfair to certain category of people. Or you must treat certain people fairly and unfairly. It's not, it's not in there in the constitution. So if I, as far as I'm concerned, if we will even implement the constitution the way it is today, 40% of the of the portion of that constitution, Nigeria will be at the rattle. So as far as I'm concerned, our problem is not the constitution. Our problem is those who implement and enforce the constitution to suit their own personal interests. Because they, they rely on the constitution of law 
or when it was the, it was their purposes, uh, their purpose. But when it was against them, they ignored the concern or bring another excuses to, okay. to do that. Is it is it the concern that says so? So as far as I'm concerned, I agree with uh, 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 and Bakuba that the concern has a K-leg. But K being, having a K-leg does not mean it's not proper. You have a K-leg that still carry a house if you are properly if properties are done. Okay. Let so me... as far as I'm concerned, rather than, rather than criticize the constitution, let's look at the kind of people we put in position. Let's look at how we enforce our our law. They, there will be judgment of the court. They, those who are supposed to enforce it do not enforce it. Or they will enforce it in a different way in, in, in terms of when it happens to certain, certain people. When it happens to certain category of people, it will be enforced in a different, different way. So how can we blame the for that? I will blame our, ourselves for that problem, not the constitution. The inequality we are having is not the constitution. There is no way in the constitution that we are expect that, look, you must treat people unfairly. That other that, that type of people must be, must be, must be, must be treated in, in this way. Certain category of people must be treated in this way. Or people from certain place or area or ethnic, uh, 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 whatever, to be treated in this manner. There is nothing there in that constitution. It is us that is doing it the way we, we think we want to do it. And, and therefore causing problems, not the constitution itself. So if I understand what you just said, you're saying that the document in itself is not a problem. It asks the people. And so when you say us, are you talking about the interpreters of the law? Are you talking about you lawyers? Are you talking about the legislature? Are you talking about government? Or are you saying Nigerians in their entirety were the problem? Nigerians in entirety, those in the position of authority, those who have been appointed to enforce the law, particularly the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary, are the people who are not following the provisions of the constitution the way it should be followed. They were the one interpreting the constitution in the way that suits to their purpose. Tsunji, uh, I think that um, we, we lost not the interest of the country. It is them that will, okay. that, will, that will treat certain areas differently from different areas. So as far as I'm concerned, it is all of us. The, the, the followers, those in government, and those, those giving, those, those, and, and those in authority, including the analysis that is complaining about the constitution. We are all guilty of this uh, uh, problem. That now, we're about now um, I'd like to bring your attention to some of the issues that have been raised about the constitution. Now, um, Nadeko and ISDS um, had said some time ago that the 1999 constitution is outdated and illegal. Um, Akintoye, Mwodo, um, Jang, Nkanga, and, and several other people had raised also uh, the alarm about the fraud uh, against the Southern and Middle Belt, which is enshrined in the 1999 uh, constitution as amended. Um, and these are prominent Nigerians. The former governor of Plateau State, Jonah Jang, Second Republic Senator, Professor Bandia Kintoye, President General of Ohanese Indigo, uh, Chief Niamodo, and several other people had called this particular constitution a fraud against a group of people. Now, uh, the Yoruba Nation also wasn't left out on this. Um, they had also raised an alarm that the constitution was illegal and they uh, demanded, um, you know, that uh, it be reviewed. But like I said at the beginning, we've had uh, uh, several, uh, uh, several amendments to this constitution. Still, exactly. we're still pointing to the document. So uh, I, I'm wondering. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they did not specifically mention a particular section and say this is what the section says that, that, that make it unfair. They did not make any reference to that. So if they are just making general comments based on their own personal. Well, well, some of some most of these ones who were. Like we amended this intervally, but we have amended intervally by people appointed by us, which means we have accepted the document and we are amending it to suit our purposes. So, in other words, there is no document in this life, any, any, there is no law, constitution in any in anywhere in the world that will be perfect. You have to amend it to suit current situation. So, if you say it's updated, amend it. It's not about throwing it away. If you, want, if you throw it away today, like I said, and we start decide to do a I think that we're having connection issues with you uh, again. Um, Tunji, we're having connection issues with you. I'm hoping that you can hear me now. I can hear you now. Great. 
So now that you have made a point that we the people are the problem, where do we start to fix it? Because I like to talk about solutions, not just the problem. Now we're seeing many people have pointed to the constitution saying it's a problem. You're saying it's not a problem. It's how it's being interpreted. It's how it's being presented. If we know that the problem is how these laws that are enshrined in the constitution are being presented, what needs to be done to make sure that However, the constitution is being interpreted, one way or the other benefits all and not, does not make certain people in certain regions feel like the constitution was crafted um, to bring them down. I, I think you know, what we need to do is to, all of us to change our attitude. You all also see the country as, as, as our country and to think in the best interest of the country and not our personal interest. In other words, we all have to play our role, whether you are in government or you are not in government. We have to play our role. In a situation whereby we don't do things the way it should be done, and when we expect to get the right results, we can't get it. So it's about all our, our, about our attitude, all of us, not only those in government. We need to, all, 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 all of us need to change our attitude. And when we find out... Unfortunately, that um, freeze has happened. The standard again. of living or life of, 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 of people in the country, not just to benefit your, yourself or to, to, to acquire certain profile or to, to yourself. So until we all ourselves, all of us see this uh, uh, responsibility of loving our neighbor, thinking about ourselves, doing things that will favor other people. I don't I can't imagine somebody that's giving it that that's, that's asked to be in charge of authority, position of authority who amass so much money to himself and keep it somewhere in his personal house. And people around him are suffering and you will not do anything to them and you blame the constitution. You will see a situation whereby we the, the order is made by the court to say this is the work to be done. They will ignore it and they will say it's the constitution. Is that the constitution? You will see a, you see, you see a situation whereby the, the constitution says give money belonging to the judiciary to them directly. Nobody will do it and they will say constitution. The constitution says the welfare and security of the people shall be the primary responsibility of the, of, of the government. And the, 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 those in government are not, doing, are not giving us that. There is fundamental uh, principle that says education and other, other things must be provided. They are not providing it. And you are saying constitution. So until we all of us who are in this country put Nigeria first than our personal interest because until we see it as Nigerian first, think about Nigeria. Don't think about one particular individual. Say he, he gave me the opportunity. I must I must I must be loyal to him. I must be loyal to my party. Party is supreme. Individual is supreme. Is the alpha omega is the president is the governor. So I must I must respect him. I must go I must do whatever he wants to do. We will not move forward. We will do things not regarding in line with the law. Not without any fear or favor, until we decide to do all these things, that's when we're going to get it right. But well, if you like, let's amend our function 51 million times. Or let's, let's even uh, do a divine yeah, nothing will change. So we need all of us to change our attitude. Attitude is the cocoa here. I just, all, I, all I, I, just, I just had a conversation now about, you know, making sure that there are checks and balances. Now, we obviously have these three arms of government um, who are supposed to check and balance one another. But if we see that there is a legislature that somewhat is at the whims and caprices of the executive, and then the judiciary, as we speak, and with due respect to you, is nothing to write home about, uh, what changes can really be done? No, you, you, who, are, who made up of the judiciary? Who made up of the legislature? Who made up of the executive? Nigerians. And that's why I say, if all of us are to say we want, we want a change in Nigeria, we want a better Nigeria, we want a good Nigeria, we we'll do things in line with, 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 with law until we move. So there won't be fear or favor. You won't, you, won't, you, won't, you won't judge, you won't decide cases based on sentiment. You won't, you won't vote for people based on sentiment. But, you if, won't, you won't, but you if, the lead, if the lead is, is seeing what the leaders are doing, the lead does want to change, but the leadership is, of course, so powerful and, and drunk on its power uh, and does not necessarily do anything because you also said they, they disobey court orders. They choose, pick and choose what to... Act on. And, that, and, and, and that's why we are getting it wrong. The, those who are leading us are not more than us. We can ask for accountability and maintain our position. We we'll get what we want. But in this country, what we will see that people are so self centered. Once they are comfortable, once they are, they are benefiting from it, they don't see any problem in it. And that's why we're having the problem. Those who are, who are, those who are leading us are not even up to 1% of those who, are, who have been there. So if our can be more powerful than us, we put them, without us, they can't be there. So if you say if you try to ask them for accountability, transparency, and stand on it and say you must do this, they will do that because we have condoned it. 
because we see that we see them as, as alpha and omega, and they are as if they are doing us a favor. And, and, and then whatever they do, we must accept it. Some people will even tell you, uh, maybe just let uh, one year left, let us uh, 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 manage it and allow, allow him to do whatever he wants to do. Some people will tell you, maybe it's just uh, uh, what he consigned me. Some people will tell you that. Some people will tell you, uh, I, I thank him, I say, well, uh, just, uh, I'm just waiting for my turn. So that is what we are having here in this country. So there is no interest of majority at the end of anybody. The average, the attitude of average Nigeria is the attitude of those in the government. They are just waiting for their opportunity to come. They are talking now, some of some people are talking now because they are not, they are not being opportune to be in the position. When they get, we know some of the people when they were on this side, they were, they were, they were foremost critic. They were foremost activists. But today, they, are, they, they see everything good in whatever the government does. And even though we are complaining, they will, they will, they will justify it. And that, that's what we are having in this country. Self fin finally, I, I, I want you to comment on our, our agencies, government agencies that are supposed to, that were set up to deal with these corrupt practices or to, you know, beat these leaders into shape. I'm using the word beat loosely here. Um, how well have those agencies done? And, and should we be also looking into, um, you know, the responsibilities of these agencies if they're doing their jobs and if they're, if they're not, what needs to be done? Because again, um, how independent are these agencies to start with? Most of them have independence as an appendage, but in the reality, um, are how, how really independent are they? I, I agree with you. They have that independence on, on paper. But in reality, the independence is not, is not there. And most time, and that's why most time, some of them act as a, as a, as a good dog or, or, or government, uh, what's it called, attack dog. In other words, whenever anybody that is against the government in power, they go against that person and try to... To, to protect the government, and they see themselves as defenders of government rather than defenders of, of, of people. And, and even our security agencies, they see themselves as we are working for the government, we are not working for the people. Those in government are the people they are concerned about. But Martins are not, are, not their own, are not within their own uh, 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 responsibility. That's, that's the way they see things. And that's why you see uh, EFCC, ICPC, or whatever, when it comes to issue of, when it comes to a, 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 a low man, man not in authority, they deal with them in a, a, a team, they, they, they are dealing with a, something a, a terrorist. But when it comes to people in authority, we don't even hear anything from them. And then we see them just lie low or trying to say we are doing our, taking our time or we are doing this and that. So we, uh, we don't have people who will work in the interest of the country. We don't have people who work based on the law on ground. They work based on interest, based on people who put them there. Because they see, some of them see the appointment as, I've been I, I, it's a privilege for me to be here, and I've been I'm, I'm before by the person who appointed me. Whatever I'm looking for, I give it to him. And that's what we're, whether it's in line with law or it's not in line with law. Until we all see that, look, we must ask whether or not anybody is, there's any body language or there's no body language. Do things in line with the law. Things will work together. UK don't have a Disney constitution, and they are living well. There is no problem. So how do we, how, how, they, I, I don't blame anything for, for it. Because everybody knows that I must do this this way, so as to get these results, and things are going well. But where we have constitution, yes, I'm not. I'm not saying the constitution is perfect. I'm not saying the constitution is uh, has, has no error. I'm not saying the constitution has no uh, uh, baggage or some things that are not okay in it. But I, if we implement it 40 percent, we will get good results. With fear of evil, uh, without, without evil, we will get good results. But the way we are working it now, if we like do brand new constitution from heaven, we will still be where we are in terms of uh, enforcement. Well, I want to say thank you. Tunji abdul Amid is a legal practitioner here in Nigeria, and we want to appreciate you for being here and having this conversation with us. Thank you for having me. All My right. pleasure. And that's the show thank tonight. You. Thank you all for being part of the conversation. Don't forget, the voters' register is out. Go to the nearest local government uh, office nearest to you, especially where you registered, and make sure that you check through that register to make sure that your information is correct and intact. And if you have any complaints, revert to the ANEC office in that local government area and go pick up your PVC because that's your passport to a new Nigeria. I'm Mary Anacon. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles and go to our YouTube, uh, that's Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle to catch up on all our programs and you can watch and re-watch. Have a good evening.